So the, the agreed upon preliminaries I was speaking to were basically just four relatively simple points. There may be more, you, know, you may want to wordsmith them a bit. But the state needs to recognize that we do a lot locally to support that state park. Absolutely. All right. And I don't think they're recognizing that. And I think we need to put up some bullet points to, to, to force them. We're not going to the table in, in, unless these things are accepted as simple truths. The village underwrites virtually all the promotion of the state park. The town pays extra tax for state school re tax redistribution. The town generates a disproportionate share of Roman meals tax. The town infrastructure is, in fact, overburdened as a result of the numerous uh, state park visitors. So we do a lot locally, both the town and the village district, in supporting that state park. And it seems to me that with their desire to uh, have us fund the maintenance of sidewalks, their sidewalks, is just beyond the pale to me. I mean, Article 31, which, which you know, would, would uh, authorize you to do that, I think the, the, the passage of Article 31 would weaken your negotiation pitch. It would not strengthen your negotiation. It would weaken it. Right now, you can say, look, you need to put together a deal we can sell to our voters. If we authorize in advance any deal, which is what 31 offers, then, then they're just negotiating with you and they're saying and they're going to put the pressure on you. You can't transfer it to the voters and say, look, we've got to sell it to our voters. I think that's a critically important negotiation <coughs> point. And that's why I say Article 31 is a dirty one, and we should vote no on that one. And I guess I'll leave it at that because I know your time pressed. Okay. I agree Thank with you. most of what you said. Thank you, Jim. Thanks. Okay.